Alright YouTube, um, welcome back to your, what is this, the uh, fourth Java development tutorial. And today we're going to be doing, doing something pretty cool. Um, we are going to be getting user input from what they type into the console, and we are going to print it out. Um, and we will be using the scanner uh, class, or scanner import to do this, um, and it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and I'll explain it as we go. Free of my chair, it is quite squeaky. Um, anyway, so in our main uh, method right here, we are going to... Actually, before we do that, we are going to import something. Um, and to import, we do java. We do import java.util.scanner with an uppercase s. Um, and an import is pretty much saying, I want to use this uh, specified class in my project, but I don't want to write out all the code, and I don't want to necessarily look at it. Uh, it's just a, it's a simple way to stay organized, um, and you'll understand imports a lot more later. Um, but let's get started. So to start, we will declare an object, and um, Java, uh, fun fact, is an object-oriented language, unlike many others. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, to declare an object we will type scanner with an uppercase s, and scan is going to be our variable uh, or our object, um, and so that can actually be anything. It could be scan with many n's or just scan. We're going to leave it at that. Um, so scanner scan equals new scanner in parentheses system dot in and that stands for system dot input stream which is kind of weird and you don't need to know about that right now but it pretty much allows us to take in data from the outside um, and so uh, right now we've declared our scanner object um, our scan and now we will create a string which you learned about last tutorial and we will name the string input. And what is going to go, uh, what text we want to print out to the console after we've taken it in will be in input. Um, so you'll understand that very soon. So let's, let's type system out uh, print lin to print to the console and let's write enter your favorite food and semicolon. And this is pretty much telling us uh, we want to have the user enter their favorite food below. And we can write input equals scan, our scan variable, dot next line, parentheses. Um, and this pretty much says we're going to take in uh, uh, the text entered into the console and it will be called, we will assign it to the variable input. So now we can use that variable input wherever we want. So let's you let's write system out println and let's write in quotations your favorite food is space and exit the quotations, press a plus sign and write input. Uh, and as you should remember, um, we are taking, we are writing the text your favorite food is, uh, space, and then we are adding the variable input right afterwards. And so what this will do, if we run the program and save it, is it'll say enter your favorite food. And if I said Danwell's yogurt and pressed enter, it would write, your favorite food is Danimal's yogurt. So we can change this around a lot. Um, we can write um, something like, enter your name. And we could do kind of a database type of thing, like entering your name into the system, or then write, um, Oops. Your name is space 
plus input. And what this would do is it would take in what the person entered, uh, for example, their name, and it would say enter your, entering your name to the system. And below this, we could do some more code to enter the uh, name to a system if we were actually doing a database type of thing. And then we would print your name is, and then the name. So let's run that right now. So if I said my name was uh, Daniel, then it would say entering your name to system, and your name is Daniel. So that's a pretty um, simple example on how um, the scanner works. And the scanner doesn't isn't only used in the console. You will use it uh, for like reading text files and many other things later on. Um, and you cannot, you don't only have to take in strings. You can also take in integer inputs, and then write next int. I believe should work. And we could just say something like enter a number, and then uh, your number is, and this would. Um, print what number you entered to the console, just like a string. So if I entered number 2, it would print your number is 2. And you can uh, do lots of things with this, and we will prob probably be using the scanner class later on in later programs. But uh, for now, that's all we're going to be doing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.